Michael Avenatti. <laughs> I just spoke to Sean Spicer. He, he's going to be uh, appearing on Fox and Friends in the morning and announcing that this is the largest protest in the history of the world. I, I want to thank everyone for coming out tonight. I think this is a very important moment in our nation's history. And I want to talk about why I think it is important. 242 Julys ago, the United States of America was founded on the concept of independence. Yeah. If anything united and fired up our founding fathers, it was their refusal to live under the control of a foreign power. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Tyrant, a tyrant. A tyrant. A traitor. They held truths to be self-evident they revolted against a king, they fought a war, they shed blood, and at last secured our independence from Britain. The nation they were building would come to stand for many things, but perhaps one idea above all, that a people, our people, us, should choose its own leaders. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Today, that bedrock principle of this nation is under attack. That's right. A foreign power, Russia, waged an operation to sow discord among our people and interfere with our electoral process. Russia worked openly to elect this president. They installed, they installed this president as the president of our United States. He doesn't belong here. And yesterday, and yesterday on one of the most disgraceful days in our history, Donald Trump rewarded Russia by siding with it over his own people. He betrayed us. Including, including the intelligence officials, the men and women who toil morning, noon, and night to keep this nation and each of us safe. Today we come to this park, we stand before this house, we stand before this president, and we redeclare our independence yes. as a nation. <laughs> this president is so incompetent, he is such an incompetent con man, that every time he does anything that is remotely presidential, some commentator somewhere decrees today he became president. What is this apartment But to be clear, yesterday Donald Trump gave up any chance of ever being our president. In fact, Yesterday was the day that this president all but acknowledged Vladimir Putin as the president of the United States. Yes. Yes. Now, as most of you know, I'm not a big fan of Donald Trump. Me neither. I've never been a big fan of Donald Trump. All right. But on that election night in 2016, I reacted very similar to perhaps many of you yeah. here today. As I went to bed, I did that too. 
As I went to sleep that night, I had various hopes for our nation despite the election results. I tried to believe the best. Maybe someone told him that he had to say all of those awful things to win. Maybe he would find a way to do the right thing. Maybe he would feel the gravity of the office of the U.S. Presidency. Maybe he would protect us from our enemies and those who sought to undermine our democracy. Maybe when that door to the Oval Office closed behind him for the first time, he would feel the awesome weight of the office and his responsibilities. Maybe despite all of what he said during the campaign, all of the divisive rhetoric, all of the race baiting, all of the division, maybe, just maybe, he would respect the republic that he was elected no. to lead no. and the fundamental values undermining our republic. No. No. I, like so many of you on that election night, had hoped that the office would change the man. We now know that the man has changed the office. What Vladimir Putin and Russia did to this country in connection with the 2016 election is no different than if they would, had placed 100,000 troops on our border. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. This was an invasion. It was an electronic invasion. Let's be clear. Worse than 9-11. Worse than 9-11. Yeah. Putin and Russia made a strategic surgical strike at the very thing that makes our nation strong, our democracy and our ability to elect our leaders. That's right. Yes. That's right. It used hackers and tweeters to divide us. It used hackers and tweeters to elect this president. Yes, it did. Oh, Illegitimate. There is now no doubt on who did this to America. Yes. There is no doubt when they did it. There is no doubt where they did it. There is no doubt what they did. The only thing that I cannot answer, and the only thing that each of you cannot answer, is why. Why? He's Putin's puppet. Why doesn't Donald Trump have a problem with this act of aggression against America? He care. He he care. He he care. Care. Why, do, why doesn't Donald Trump stand against Russia and Putin and with America? Mr. President, why are you complicit? Mr. President, why have you refused to stand up for the very values that this nation was founded on, namely independence? That's right, because he doesn't care. That's right. Why do you keep choosing one of our biggest foreign foes yep. instead of us? Our troops didn't die in Yorktown. They didn't take Normandy Beach. They didn't rebuild Europe yeah. and secure the post-war peace That's right. that we have enjoyed All right. and that you are now destroying, Mr. President. For you to live as a Manchurian candidate in our White House yeah. and refuse to tell us why. Absolutely our house. This is our house. Now I wanna I wanna 
to say something in particular to my brothers and sisters on the right. Why have you stood up? I grew up in the red and purple states of Utah, Colorado, and Missouri. I have known and been close to a number of Republicans in my lifetime. I have counted them as my friends, my confidants. I believe in a strong and sensible conservative party in America. I believe it is healthy for our nation. But to my brothers and sisters on the right, I say this. I cannot fathom the possibility that after witnessing what you witnessed yes, sir. yesterday, yes, sir. after you witnessed this president stand shoulder to shoulder us. with Vladimir Putin <coughs> and choose Russia over America, Traitor. I cannot believe that you continue to stand behind this president. Shame. Shame. sisters on the right, you are better than this. You love this country more than this. What do not You are patriots like me. We may disagree on the issues. We may disagree on a lot of issues. But this is the time for choosing. Vote. This is the time that you choose between this president and your country and your love for the United yeah. States of America. Yeah. I was USA, 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 USA. I was born I was born in 1971 in the thick of the Cold War. I remember the moral clarity of Ronald Reagan when he spoke about the Soviet Union. I still remember the sirens. I still remember the drills at school. Yes. Mr. President you obviously don't remember the sirens. You obviously don't remember the drills. You obviously don't remember Ronald Reagan. Treason is bipartisan! And more importantly, you have forgotten the oath that you took. That's right. And that was not to protect Vladimir Putin or Russia, but that was to protect our Constitution and these people here in the United States of America. Yeah. That's right. It has long been clear to many of us yes. that this president lacked the intelligence, the compassion, the, the heart, yeah. the fortitude, and the competence to be president of the United States. That's right. Let's talk about it, Mike. But never before has that become more clear than it was yesterday in Helsinki, <laughs> standing shoulder to shoulder with Vladimir Putin, one of the staunchest enemies of the United States, and choosing him and Russia over us. It is time, it is time for him to go. Yes, it is! If he's 45, if he's 45, if he's 45, it is time, it is time, it is time for every American of good conscience, whether you are on the right, or the left or the center to unite against this president and his inability to call this like it is. And Congress. And to refuse to acknowledge that the 2016 election was stolen yes. from the American people. Yes. It is time to make America independent again. again. Yeah. It is time, it is time 
to make America respected again. And above all else, it is time to make America America again. Okay.